the February Economic Development and UW Extension Committee meeting to order. Madam Clerk, are we in compliance with open meeting law? Yes. Notice has been sent. Uh, Stu Rocco. James Schlender. Present. Tom Duffy. Here. Brian Bizanet. Here. Jesse Betcher. Absent. Let the record reflect that we do have a quorum for today's meeting. Meeting agenda has been presented. Is there any questions about the agenda? Hearing none, moving on to public comments. Is there anybody here who wishes to address the committee? Hold on. Do we have anybody virtually? You're actually on the agenda, actually. You're not on the agenda? No. All right. The floor is yours, sir. All right. Don Rotek with the Sawyer County Snowmobile ATV Alliance. And just wanted to give a brief report on our snowmobile and ATV trails. I've talked before about the ATV trails. We had a fantastic ATV season this last year. Um, probably double our normal traffic for ATVs we had this summer. But along with that, a little bit of negative stuff is they took a huge impact on the trails and gravel off and everything there. To compensate for that though, we get $120,000 a year for maintenance money for the ATV trails. We have 150 miles of trails, $120,000 annual maintenance money comes in. Plus we have six ATV grants for over $400,000. So we've got over $500,000 worth of money coming in to maintain our trails here this year. Those are grants that Greg puts in and that comes out of the, AT, the state ATV account. It does not come through the, it just passes through money through the county. The county does not put any of that money into the trail systems. Just Greg and the forestry committee, or forestry groups do the work on it and such like that to put in for the funding. Um, so uh, one of the important things though, we're losing volunteers. And of course, we're gonna need heavier equipment to move some of the gravel and that out there, but with that kind of money, we should be able to do a lot of that. So moving on to the snowmobile side, we got off to a late start with the snowmobile season. Uh, snow was a little bit slow on coming to us here this year. But along with that, not many counties were open for snowmobiling at the beginning of the year. There's only seven counties that started off the season with that. We started off, once we did get snow up here in the northern part of the county, we did fantastic. A lot of snowmobilers came here. They've been continuing to come here all winter long. Um, in regards to economics, it's helped us tremendously. Uh, people not going to Michigan. A lot of your snowmobilers are coming here instead of going to Michigan, which usually has more snow. But because their businesses are not open, that they cater to the people coming inside, Snowmobilers don't really want to go sit outside on days like today and eat their, eat their meals outside. They'd rather be sitting inside. So for us, it's been a huge uh, gain by them coming here. We hope to keep them coming here. So for both motorized and silent sports, Sawyer County has done tremendously here. And I think it's kind of ironic when you listen to the news and they talk about unemployment and our economy bad all over, and I think we're doing tremendously here. I think every business is looking for people to work for them. They're having a hard time finding people and businesses should be all real busy here. It's been a fantastic season for us. That's it. Any other, anybody else who wishes to address the committee? Mr. Colson, have anybody raised their hands? No. All right. So. Mr. Moreau, take in the future, I need to put you on the agenda because when you do public comments, we can't interact with your, your report. And uh, I think your information is vital to the committee. So Mr. Hoff, you can figure out what, are the, what the rules permit us to have Mr. Morotek's organization part of this, you know, like a voluntary report. And then you can at your discretion decide how you wanna fill that out. Thank right. you. Um, has the committee had a chance to review the minutes from the last meeting? I move we approve it, Mr. President. I have a motion for Mr. Duffy to approve the meeting meeting minutes from, from the January meeting. Mr. Bizonette? I'll second. I have a second for Mr. Bizonette. Um, is there any discussion on the motion? 
But I do a voter, I just can just declare it approved because it's proclamation. I mean, that we affirmation, right? Um, mm -hmm. I have a motion. Uh, I'll call for a vote. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, abstentions, motion carries. Surrey County Agricultural Fair Association report, Mr. Christians. Uh, Rick Christians, Surrey County Fair President. Um, nothing too much to report right now. Um, we're just planning our fundraiser, um, our fair social, which is March 6th at Flat Creek, um, which the last couple of years has been pretty successful and helped us with extra money. Um, so that's about all we have right now. Make, we're making our plans for the fair. Most everything is all in line about the same as what last year was. Um, you know, and then our, our improvements, as soon as we're able to get outside and work in the spring, we'll be working on all our uh, improvements on the fairgrounds that are much needed. Any questions for Mr. Christians? Well, what date did you pick for this year? The fair? The fair be the same weekend, that August um, 13th through the 15th. Any other questions? Close to everybody with their hands up. No. Thank you, sir, for your report. Moving on to UW Extension Department report. Morning. Good morning, Professor. <laughs> so I did bring some packets for Mr. Schleter and Mr. Bissonnette, I think. So I'll maybe I'll leave them in their mailboxes, I guess. Just hold it up to the screen. You can probably read it. From there. <laughs> 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 um, so anyway, we packed full of information for you, but um, some just basic reports and that kind of stuff is in here. Um, don't mind the Washburn County tag. I had them make them up for me in Spooner over the week or on Friday, and they have Washburn County on it, but it's really silly. So, um, so that's really about it. Sky is here to report to you in person today about um, all the great things that are going on in 4-H, and I know we have... Uh, it looks like we had uh, Bridget, who I was just listening in today on line two. So here's the floor, George. Hello, everyone. Um, Can you state uh, your name for the record? Oh, yeah. Sky Holt with UW Madison Extension. Um, so I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit today about 4-H and then other community youth development. Um, so in 4-H, we are banding together as an area. There's five counties in our area and we are presenting Project Discovery, um, which is a monthly meeting um, that is offered in five different project areas. So there's actually five monthly meetings that are offered to youth and families um, that are kind of taking over those individual face-to-face -face project meetings that everybody's kind of used to or thinks of when they're thinking about 4-H. Um, another thing that's um, being offered is also the winter camp, which is another thing that is being banded together with area wide. Um, we will be going to Hunt Hill doing some snowshoeing and I believe that we already have for that one uh, 26 families, I believe that are going to be participating in that and learning some different winter survival skills, um, things to that extent. Um, as, for, as far as community youth development, well connected communities is what you guys would probably know that as, or is what I reported as. The youth have decided to call that um, Sawyer County Youth Fellowship. And they are, we have three youth and four adults that are actively participating. We meet, meet bi-weekly and we are right now focusing on data, data dives and trying to figure out what information we have in Sawyer County and what information the youth wanna focus on to be able to really look into policies and system changes around that specific data, and then also have a community event that would support that in whatever way they choose to do that. Well Connected Communities is a grant. Um, originally, the grant funds were much lower because next week we were supposed to be in Washington going to the 4-H National Health Summit. Um, so there was a lot of funds that was put into travel for each one of the grantees. Because of that change, we are still going to the health summit, but we will be going virtually. Um, we have two youth and one adult attending the health summit. But like I said, because of the change with all that funds, 
there is a possibility that we may be able to do a second community health project. And it's all focused around health equity within the community. And the ultimate goal is really to have youth adult partnerships, youth voice, and the ability to, for youth to be on committees, collaborations, um, different things like that, even to be able to possibly eventually be on, on, on this committee to be able to bring that youth voice here to be able to say this is what the youth in Sawyer County are wanting or are seeing a need for different things like that. So we're really trying to start with that. And, and so far, it's going really well. Um, like I said, next week, we'll be attending that National Health Summit. Um, other ways that that people can connect is through the state of Wisconsin, we are actually offering what's going to be called 4-H Cafe. This is going to be a cafe in order to bring all of the volunteers in the state of Wisconsin together to really be able to help support each other. This has been a really difficult time for everybody in the nation, across the, you know, in the world. But most importantly, it's been really difficult to connect. It's been difficult to figure out how to connect and figure out what, what is the, who, how to meet people's needs, uh, essentially. So this is gonna be a large gathering for people to be able to just come together and say, this is what we're doing, this is how we're doing it, this is what ideas I need, just a really like nice big collaboration process. And then another um, thing to look out for is we are partnering with uh, the Senior Center to do a multi-generational program with youth and adults, specifically youth and seniors on somewhat of, I would say, like an interview process, but it's essentially going to be Sawyer Connections. Um, the stories or the information of people that is, is compiled, um, they will have the opportunity to be able to share their stories during art to go when that happens. Um, but really it's once again about that connection, that ability to have that connection right now, we have to do it virtually. So we're trying to figure that out with the Senior Center support they will be able to support the, the seniors with any sort of virtual technology needs, different things like that. And I will be able to support the youth and other adults with their technology needs. Any questions? I know that was a lot, sorry. Uh, pretty good, pretty good report. Thank you. Mr. Bizonet, do you have any questions for Ms. Holt? No, I don't, thanks. Mr. Duffy? No. Any other buddy, anybody else have questions for our UW team? If not, thank you for the report. Moving on to number eight, Hayward Lakes Visitors Convention Bureau Report. Ms. Beckman, are you with us? I am. Good morning. So we have a big, sorry about that. We have, we had a big month, a lot of stuff happening. So um, I did supply a report and um, so Midwest Outdoors, we completed that segment for ice fishing. Um, we, it was kind of interesting. We had a travel writer come to the area. Um, I am sorry about my dog. No worries. I'll shut the door. <clears throat> okay. Um, so there was a travel writer that came through town. She was actually um, up in Bayfield and so much stuff was closed that they kind of called me at the last minute on a Saturday and they're like, hey, can you, you know, can you entertain her? Cause she was interested in the Hayward Lakes area. So she came down for about three hours and we packed a lot in, in a few little um, hours, but that was really nice that she took the time to come down to Hayward. So we tried something new because we aren't doing sports shows. You know, usually we do 10 to 11 sports shows and this year, um, so many of them were canceled. John Myrie came up, came to us and said, he thought, let's do something, it's called Hayward Facebook Live. So we tried it and it actually was very successful. I was a little leery. I, I wasn't sure people would, you know, tune into that, but we did. We had over 5,000 people who watched and we had some great guests. We had Pete Mena, um, Ben Pop. And we're going to try it again, February 19th. Um, we've got some other experts. We've got Max Walter from the DNR this time. We've got a representative from CAMBA. We've got Sherry Morgan from the hospital trail. Um, Mike Best is gonna talk about ice fishing. So we got another great lineup. Wisconsin Indian Head Country Fishing Opener. Yeah, we are going to move forward with the fishing opener. We were supposed to host it last year and then it got canceled. 
So we are going to do it again this year. We're going to try to do the free fish fry to the community, which would be Friday the 1st from 11 to 2 at the Hall of Fame. That fish is donated by the DNR that they confiscated. Um, let's see here, Discover Wisconsin. So they were here, thankfully, last week, or two weeks ago instead of this week, um, filming snowmobiling. So this was part of um, the power sports episode we're doing with ATV and Ann snowmobiling. So that will get all finalized here and it will air April 17th. And then it will also air again next October to hype up snowmobiling. Um, the Northwest Wisconsin ITVEC guide that is at the printer. That's the silent sport guide with the 11 counties. We're also doing a really fun promotion. It's called um, Snap a Selfie. It's with the Snowville gem grant that I wrote with the state of Wisconsin. And so you use the hashtag sled Sawyer 2020 and you go around the county because two years ago we were designated as the Snowville friendly community by the um, Wisconsin Association of Snowville Clubs. So they're just, if they go in front of a sign, take their picture, then they're entered to win in, in, a, in the contest. And then they do a lot of advertising for us because it's, they send, you know, they put their hashtag on their social media and then they send it to their friends and then it goes, it gets out there. And we have reached over 18,000 people through this promotion since December 16th. And it goes another couple weeks to the end of February. Trail Genius was gonna come this Wednesday to do some new website video in and still photos for us, but we have rescheduled for the 24th because of the weather. His equipment will not work in this cold weather. Um, videography, we're also, we hired Bo Peterson. He's a local photographer um, to do some, everything seems that we've been finding is everybody wants video, video, video. So we are going to do some, we're going to highlight some different properties and then put that out on social media. And he's also putting together a video for, to reach out for membership. And also the website. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but if anybody has a website, you have to be very careful to be ADA compatible. Um, there are some people out there who are suing people because the websites are not compatible. So we are working to get ours up to date. It's things like if someone is colorblind, you have to make, make sure that they can read all the words that you have on there. Or if someone is hard of hearing, that they're able to read the words. If you have any kind of content like a video, you have to make sure you have the words so they can read it. Um, so it's, it's kind of an overhaul, but it's very important that we get that done. And then sports shows. We are actually going to attend two of them, one in Eau Claire and one in Milwaukee. And then Canoe Copia is going to actually be virtual. And then we got some nice free PR. Any questions? Does Matt, do you have any questions for Ms. Beckwith? Thank you. Brian? Yeah. Any questions for No, I don't have any questions. That was a good report. Thank you. Mr. Duffy? I'm glad you're back. <laughs> any other, any, Thanks. Any questions for Ms. Beckman from the floor? Beckman, thank you for your report. You're welcome. Moving on to number nine, Northwest Regional Planning Commission report. Do we have anybody here from Northwest Regional Planning? Are we still in the midst of trying to figure out who our representative is going to be? For Northwest Regional Planning? Uh, well, Sheldon, uh, I haven't heard from Sheldon in a while, but uh, she was Sheldon or Sheldon. Can we, can we, can you ask our board chair to find out who our representatives are so that we maintain that connection? And that's why oh, okay. I'm, the board representation, right? Okay, gotcha. All right, moving on to number 10. Mr. Gardner is unable to attend. We have a report from the executive director. And we also have a part of the North report. Is there any questions regarding that report? Mr. Bisnett, did you get a copy of those reports? Brian? 
Sorry about that. I had my my mute button on. Um, yeah, I, I printed it off this morning. I haven't had a chance to read everything in this report, um, but I've been going through it as we've been going along here. Is there any questions? I don't have any so far. Would that be a problem? Right. Moving on to number 10, future agenda items. Um, Fitch, if we could invite the Sawyer County Historical Society to come to a meeting. Hey, I talked to Mr. Jim Coleman, I think it is, and he's ready to come in. So that once we can confirm when they can come in, and if we can get them on the next agenda, that would be good. And then, Brian, can we invite, can you make sure that we get, uh, invite the Kinnaman School or, or Faith, who's kind of like the Historical Society for the tribe, if we can have her come in and see if we can develop a relationship regarding some of the historical information that we have between Sarah County and the tribe. Yeah, are you thinking like next month? I was thinking next month, but um, it, it's voluntary exercise, so they're scheduled. Okay, um, I'll uh, I'll try to I'll try to meet with her tomorrow. I assume we're going to be working tomorrow. Um, I'll get a hold of her and see if she can attend the next meeting. Well, you're asking. Just that you're giving Faith the, head, the heads up. Is Faith yeah. you formally invite her to the meeting? And Faith's last name is? Faith Smith, and then Brian has her contact information. I think it's like Faith Smith at lco.nsa.gov or something. So Brian, if you could um, forward Faith's contact information, if she is actually the person that we want to talk to. The idea would be is uh, Mr. Betcher at a previous meeting had had a conversation with the folks at the Historical Society, and they're looking, um, they have a lot of information, but don't seem to have infrastructure for making it available. We have infrastructure and how we can use some of the information. I think Kinnaman could probably even help with the storage of some of those documents and uh, seeing if we can't create a relationship there and making it a uh, destination spot for the county. Second is, uh, Mr. Hoff, if we could uh, make a permanent position for a permanent reporting spot for Mr. Morotech and the Snowmobile Association. And uh, Mr. Morotech can come in either quarterly, monthly, weekly, if Mr. Hoff wants to entertain you. <laughs> um, talk about those things, because I think that's important. And uh, if you do it during public comment, you know, we're restricted in our ability to communicate. Um, any other items for, for a future agenda, Mr. Duffy? Do you have anything? No. For Bizonet? Nope. I, uh, I like that we're going to be talking about the historical society, though. I didn't even know if it was functioning anymore. Okay. Moving on to number 12, other matters for discussion only. Mr. Duffy, do you have anything you wish no. to? Mr. Bizonet, any other matters for discussion only? No. I got Couple of questions. Mr. Duffy, how are we with the Berkey preparations? Wonderful. They're still arguing about the virtual versus the in person. Um, in Mayfield County, the high the health official there said they were concerned about having too many people here in person. So they're having a meeting today at nine o'clock. We'll be to decide for sure what they're going to do. But the numbers are still up. So whether it's by virtual or whether it's in person, people are here. The problem is people have made their reservations and they're coming. Right. So it's difficult to late stage that they don't come. Um, so but I'll have a full report next to the next meeting. Maybe Is there a way that you can bring Mr. Bob in to yeah, talk about that? Yeah. I mean, it's still a pretty, I don't know, there's, you know, the bridge itself is an accomplishment. Are they naming it after you? Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So, Brian, do you have anything you want? Any other matters for discussion only? I forgot that by asking. Um, no, not at this point. All right. Nothing else in this meeting is adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.